well hey guys welcome back to another video and today i kind of want to talk about how i can return to genshin impact because it's been like a few months since i played because the last band i pulled on whenever Alachino ban was out so like around four or five months ago so i kind of want to talk about that and what kind of like rekindle like my joy of this game because i'll be honest there's like a few stuff that actually made me really like the game and kind of want to talk about why I kind of fell off for like so long. Because before I kind of like stopped playing the game, I was like a day one player playing for like three years plus. I think I didn't know like if you look at the oldest videos I have on my channel, it was like for a few months were just current Genshin. And the fact that even though I kind of came back, I wasn't even caught up the story when not been released because I was kind of stuck on the last chapter of Fontaine because I was too lazy or I just kept putting it off way too much. And I only really had my phone to play the game and the farm material, especially the local specialty, was such a hassle because I didn't know where they were exactly. So I have to watch a guy use my phone, play the Genshin on my phone, and then switch up to another YouTube tab. And then it's just like a whole hassle I couldn't be bothered to. And to the fact that kind of cost me from building all the characters I had on my account, being Farina, Claudio Tena, and Olachino. Like, I had them on my account, like, characters, like, people would kill for. They were legit sitting at level 20 or level 40, because I found all the boss drop for them, but I couldn't be bothered to find those fucking local specialties. But what kind of changed my mind on that recording 5.0, which was such a big update for the game, they had a feature where they legit show you all in a little circle where you can find them all and I can't tell you how much of a godsend that is. Like, it made me actually enjoy like farming for the local specialties to the point that I got so much kitted up and thanks to some help with some friends of mine who let me come to their world to get their local specialty for the characters I need. I was able to get so much characters like built up and done because the only thing I was missing legit was the local specialty to the point that Farina is now level 19 at one go. Cloud Retainer on the next day was level 80 and as I got all the stuff I need for all of Trino because from my friend's will and my own will that was way more than enough to get you to level 90. All I had to do was do a little will quest, unlock the boss go ham from fragile and i got my other chino running as you see in the gameplay and like good lord like she is crazy insane like i don't know why i slept on her so much well granted i didn't have the boss unlock and with 1.5 or whenever this feature got added where you can quick fight the boss without doing a story quest i was able to get the stuff for other chino without doing the other chino story quest which i will do eventually and then claritina is just so damn good not even just for the plunge stuff like the fact that the dash the E skill is just so nice. And like in the gameplay, you can see all of Chino, Claret, Tena, Farina, uh, the three characters I just have sitting there just on my main team because I've been having such a good time using them. Like it was good just to come back, just to build a character. And I got my free fire set. I showed Dea because I can have she and she's hot. And I pulled my first Natlin character, Kanish. Like it was such a shame and broke my heart that I didn't get my Queen Mulani because that character is perfect. And I kind of knew like a lot of people skipping Kanish because like Zealand coming out and that case is said to be a broken like insane like value. But Kanish gameplay looks sick as hell and bro got a dragon like you see how sick that is? And I finally have a dangerous DPS other than Tenari, which I hate. And besides, with a new region unlock, like, I can easily, like, save up enough to try my luck with Zealand. Uh, yeah, we're talking about, like, the start. I know a lot of people, like, I hit and miss a lot of people because some people feel like it's just a Japanese salad. But generally, I actually really like it, especially the last arc of Fontaine, which I did recently, which was perfect. I love it. Like, the cutscene would never let it peak like the plus twist with arena and never let what insane then you have like the newest like dainty quest where you got off so much good screenshot material but also the fact that we get talked to the missing sibling and then when i finally got to that plan like it was really good i actually liked it the little arc mulan and kachina going through the fight between the two of them was nice i liked it a lot and Mulani is such a good kid. I really like she. 
Then you have like Mob Week, uh, the Archon who just stands on business, like Cappuccino came, tried to run the ones with the Pyro Archon, like insane animation, insane. Like I think that like the first few fights that were like fully animated without like you being in combat. And then bro kind of had to flee back because of what my week I did to him. Like bro thought, nah, I win, but he basically ran. <laughs> so like I've been like totally enjoying like my time with Genshin and back again. Like I don't know why I just held back this story for so long. Maybe because of the fact that I was just like too fatigued because I was just playing Genshin for like three straight years. Like that would cause anyone to like have like some type of burnout or fatigue or just get tired of like playing. But also I like how they took away that one guy that was in charge of Genshin and they basically replaced him and nowadays that was a really good decision because ever since that happened like the game just been so much better to play like you're getting rewarded more, they're giving out more stuff like we finally like have a decent anniversary for once in Genshin Impact which is really unheard of like it kind of sucked it took up the nap lane like to get this but hey it finally happened so that's really good. I just hope they just keep up the momentum and keep giving us more quality of life changes and just making the game more better like adding overflow and resin, more permanent content. Like if they keep up this momentum I think this game will have like the promise it should have had like before like nap lane came out. So yeah, I think it's like safe to say I'm, I'm back playing Genshin Impact, but now I'm playing Genshin Impact, Star Rail, and Xenoson Zero. Like them three gacha games are crazy, but I got that type of time and as long as I do it responsibly, it shouldn't be that much of a problem. I guess the question is, am I gonna cut back content for Genshin Impact? Well, probably yeah, I think. If like there's a topic I really like or like some videos I want to make, yeah sure I'll get back into making videos for this game. And don't worry for my Honkai Star Rail fans, I'm not gonna stop playing Star Rail, I'm still gonna make videos on it and Star Rail will be my main game which is Star Rail kinda on a down low and so like the next update basically. But I do got a video plan so don't worry it'll be fine, trust me. And yeah that's about it, so guys thanks for watching, I do appreciate you for sure and of course let me know what you guys think what to say because at the end of the day, I'm not gonna kill you. Meh, I probably might kill you but at the same time still comment anyway because I love that stuff. And if you made this time to the video, well first of all damn but also why not like the video because I like the best way to support me and subscribe to the channel as well. Like the 1000 subscribers and I have a discord server you can join where you can talk to me or anyone in my community like I'd love to see you there but with all that said, take care. Love you guys and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.